Okay, so decontamination is actually very simple. Uh, split into three separate areas. Initial decontamination, which involves everything on the outside of the vest. Uh, full dry decontamination, which involves everything on the inside of the vest. Um, and then waste management and medical care as well that happens at the end. So the idea is that um, with this vest, in an emergency situation, you don't want to be thinking, you don't want to be trying to remember a sequence. So here, if a pocket's full of something, use it. So one of the first pockets you can reach is this pocket. So here's an absorbent cloth. It's very low tech, but if you have uh, an oily chemical on you, for example, it's very important that you mop it up straight away. In here are also lenses for the escape hood, which is in here. So this is like a gas mask that you can put on. And this will protect you long enough so that you can escape. Um, you wouldn't stick around in a situation where a chemical attack had happened, but this would prepare you uh, well enough to get out of there. Next steps are not necessarily in this order, but it doesn't really matter the order that you do initial decontamination. If you've been exposed to a nerve agent, in here is an EpiPen. Uh, it's an auto-injector for the, um, I just got this from Amazon, but uh, it's to symbolize uh, the medication that you could jam into your leg, big thigh muscle. In here is fast act decontamination powder in a shaker bottle. So if you've been exposed to chemical, um, you can just shake this onto your skin or onto your clothes or onto the car, anywhere that's been contaminated. This will absorb and neutralize the chemicals that we've identified as risks. You also have uh, water. Uh, saline solution and tweezers as well. Working together, this can protect you from a white phosphorus attack. So you'd irrigate the white phosphorus uh, to stop it from burning and then surgically remove uh, the splinters of metal. In here is a valuables pouch. So this is chemical proof. You'd put your documents in here, your phone, your wallet, any jewelry, anything that you would need later on uh, that you wouldn't want to leave in the field if you had to cut your clothes off. Which leads us on to the next step of decontamination. So if I can take this off without pulling the microphone. Um, on the inside of the vest is uh, what I would consider very basic training. So even if you don't have time to read your documentation or you just had an information overload, the information on here should keep you safe um, at a bare minimum level. Um, some of this stuff goes into more detail, so you wouldn't necessarily read this in an emergency. For example, uh, symptoms of nerve agents and the different, different chemicals that we prepare for. Um, the final step in the decontamination process is full dry decontamination. So we would lay this on the floor and we'd step onto here and then you'd have four items that you could use to decontaminate yourself. Uh, scissors to cut your clothes off, gloves uh, to protect you from uh, moving contamination around. In here you would have residual surface decontamination lotion and absorbent bandages uh, to either mop up the lotion or treat wounds that you might have. Uh, this material is made from um, activated charcoal. So while you're standing on here, this will actually absorb and neutralize chemicals as well. You could also cover your mouth with this if you needed to uh, and use it as a rudimentary gas mask. You can also wipe your skin on this to, to clean yourself as well. And then the final steps, um, when you have cut your clothes off and you need something to wear, in the top of the vest is a new pair of clothes. So you can put those on, um, pull it all together with a drawstring. This bundles up everything into a nice safe uh, waist sack. You unzip your valuables pouch and then you'd evacuate. So there it is. <laughs>